students, welcome to your English mini lesson. Today we're going to talk about collocations using fake, false, artificial, or counterfeit. These are synonyms, so if you know what one means, you know what the rest mean. The problem is that they go with certain nouns for no apparent reason. They're simply collocations, words that go together. In this slideshow, I'm going to show you um, some of the common collocations these words are used with. But um, there might be some secondary words that you are unfamiliar with, so the pictures will help you. Let's get to the first one. So artificial limbs or artificial arms and legs. Um, so if you don't know what a limb is, it's basically an arm or a leg, usually. So artificial tends to go with organs and body parts. So you'll see um, artificial organs, artificial limbs, and artificial heart, okay? Um, another way to talk about these is prosthetic limbs. So um, this one might gross some of you out, but we have to learn it. So this is how we talk about dentures. We call them false teeth. They're teeth that you insert when you have no teeth of your own. So when we're talking about robots, we like to use the term artificial intelligence. It's basically intelligence that is man-made. Um, so it's not part of a conscious mind. It's not human. It is artificial intelligence. When we're talking about paintings being fake, uh, we use fake. We don't say false. We don't say artificial. We say usually fake painting, okay? Um, also, when we're talking about fur, we use fake. So um, what's in fashion now is fake fur. So as animal rights groups are becoming more and more powerful, more people are buying fake fur or fox fur. I think that's actually how you pronounce that, fox fur. I'm not really sure, honestly. But um, fake fur is a great way to refer to fur that is not actually from an animal. So sometimes we like to get dressed up and get our makeup done and we put on false eyelashes. So we usually don't call them fake eyelashes. We call them false eyelashes. Um, this one can be a little tricky. Um, according to the book I consulted, we call flowers that are not real artificial flowers. However, I've also heard um, fake flowers used very commonly. So um, some of these are not, I would say, 100% accurate all the time, but um, usually you will see them as artificial flowers. When we're talking about money or bills or coins, we're going to use the word counterfeit, and it's almost exclusively used with money. So counterfeit money, counterfeit bills, counterfeit coins. As we said before, when we're talking about a body part or an organ, we're going to use artificial. So an artificial organ, an artificial heart. We don't say fake heart. Also, when we're talking about um, ingredients in foods that are not real, meaning artificial colors, um, artificial flavors, um, these are processed foods that contain elements that are not natural. When we want to say a tan that is not natural, we say a fake tan. So we don't say a false tan, we don't say an artificial tan, we say fake tan. Um, these are some other collocations to remember. Um, a false alarm is an idiom, it's an English idiom that we use to mean something that we thought was important or urgent, but it really wasn't. An example of this would be if you thought something was on fire in your house because you smelt something um, like gas and you ran to your kitchen to see what was going on and it was just, I don't know, someone smoking. It's a false alarm. You thought it was something more um, of an emergency, but it wasn't in the end. Some other collocations are false information, false hope, false evidence, 
false confidence, fake name, fake beard, fake nose, fake smile, fake laugh, counterfeit bill, coin, and goods, as we talked about counterfeit is usually used with money, artificial flavor, artificial lighting. If you're a photography person, maybe you use artificial lighting in your shots or in your videos. Thanks so much for watching this video on collocations. You can check the description box below for access to worksheets and drills personally made by me. You can consider subscribing to my channel for more free videos and you can give me a like. For access to free weekly worksheets, tips, test taking strategies and other free resources, consider signing up for my mailing list. I promise I never spam. In the description you will find a free worksheet um, that is just basically repetitive and has you practice these collocations. You may find it helpful. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.